Divan beds have been all the rage since they first came on the scene in the 1920s, but if you're stuck with a bed that you cannot stand with one of these bright colourful patterns on it, if you don't want to have to put a valance sheet on that's frilly and feels really dated, and if you're not even really into the modern box pleat version or you'd like something a little bit more streamlined, I'm going to show you today how to paint fabric and update your bed in an affordable way to a modern streamlined divan. First up, we're going to remove any hardware that you have. Pop any of the fabric in and then you're going to want to fill it with some filler and I gave it a light sanding. You want to cut off any frayed fabrics or any frayed edges or threads in preparation for painting it. And if there's any repairs that need done, you're going to want to do them now as well. I used eggshell paint and mixed it with a fabric conditioner. Yep. You heard that right, a fabric conditioner turns a latex, acrylic, emulsion paint into a textile medium so you can paint any kind of fabric. You're going to mix up the paint to make sure the pigment's really good and you're going to mix half fabric conditioner and half paint. When you start to mix it up, it's going to really gradually build up this absolutely amazing yogurt sort of texture. It's like a really thick creamy yogurt with a fabric softener smell. Other things you're going to need for this project, a spray water bottle and you're also going to need a brush. I use this stippling brush. To start off your project, spray your fabric and make sure it's damp before you start to apply your paint. Start to apply your paint, working it back and forward, making sure that you cover all the edges and you are creating a nice smooth coverage. With details like this curved edge, you're going to want to make sure that you blend that out really nicely so you don't end up with any lumps and bumps. So continue to work on the rest of the fabric, you're going to spray that to keep it damp and spread your paint back and forward in really nice strokes. This brush was absolutely beautiful to work with and I have to say painting fabric has become my new thing to do because the consistency of this as a paint is absolutely gorgeous. You're then going to want to rotate your frame and start working on the other sides. I would suggest you use more light layers than thick layers and again spraying and spraying and spraying and painting. Make sure you either paint far enough into this inner edge of your divan where it joins or paint the inside if you're feeling a little bit more energetic than I am. So this is how it looks after one coat. We're now on coat four by this point in time and every time you open up your paint, you're going to have to mix it because it will separate. Look at the difference between the dry and the wet paint. It's interesting how much darker it dries. So as before, continue to work. Really make sure it's smoothed out. If there's any small nicks or imperfections or any bits of dirt or flecks of anything, make sure you remove them as you go. This is how the finished texture ends up looking. Some people describe it as leather, but for me, it wasn't like that at all, which I was really, really pleased with. So these divan beds have little wheels on them and I wanted to add some legs to really complete the look. Got a bit of wood, created a template of something that I thought might work, a simple chunk of wood with a circle. I cut four of them out and then I painted them in this anthracite color. I measured three centimeters from the corner turned it over and measured three centimetres from the same corner so that I could drill from each side of the wood. I used a 54mm hole cutter and I started to drill through on one side and flipped it over and then drilled through the other. And then that was me left with one of four wheel covers. Position your bed, make sure you've got it in the place you want it to go. I labelled my feet bases and then I slotted them into place when the bed was in position. And then the side wheels I simply turned round to show the shortest side. And this is the finished look which I absolutely love. All in all this cost around about £20 to do, it's transformed the room and it's definitely made it look much more streamlined and contemporary. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel to see all the future videos I've got coming up. If you like this video, check out my other video by clicking on the link.